good morning friends today we are with the video on adding linear actuator on this robot we usually have moving robots with some kind of end effector where it can move and change the state of world so now we are done with moving robot so if you have not seen the video how to make this robot do watch from how to build a custom robot and if you have not seen the video on how do we write a controller for keyboard do watch a tutorial on keyboard which is two tutorial behind this one now we are going to add linear actuator so first of all in linear actuator we will have a solid where we will first make the straight link which will hold the linear actuator link so now in solid we will have a child where child will be shape in this shape in geometry we will have it as a box so as we are going to make a link we will have its coordinate feel free to choose your size but for this video i am choosing the size to be 0 0.02 in x direction 0.0 uh, 0.25 in y so it's a linear link and if you see it the link goes both the ways we can change the translation of link by getting link out we have this translation so we can have full link up now in appearance we will change the color of link so we can have it as 4 and we will remove the metalness to be 0 so we can see so this is a support link so if you are building a real robot you will have linear actuators mounted on this link so you may have piston you may have timing belt and pulley so depending on your mechanism and length you'll have different mechanisms but this will be the foundation member for those mechanisms now this is a stationary member so now we need to build a moving member so we'll go add we we'll need to add a slider joint so you can see it's illustrated here so in joint parameters in devices here as we need a linear motor we will add a linear motor and in joint parameters we know that our link is going to move about y axis so we will have y axis here and end point will make a solid where in child we will have shape and this link will also give our appearance in geometry we add a box this link will be similar in width but will be horizontal let's give the coordinates to link let us have 0 0.15 in y direction 0 0.02 and 0 0.02 so we have a link here we will translate the link this will do 0 0.85 so our link is touching our mechanism actually uh, here there will be a slider mechanism where you will 
mount a slider rail on the green member and you will have slider channel on the red one which will facilitate your frictionless sliding then let's color this link so uh, we go in end point in appearance we'll have let's color this blue so and metalness to be zero so this is the shape now we'll set this link zero position to be below so that it is easy to count the translation in y direction we'll go to in the child shape in our end point we have this translation where we can take the robot to base let's have this as zero so to check double check in device in joint parameter our position is zero so this is set to be a zero position and let's fix our minimum position to be zero and maximum position to be 0 0.2 so we will have the blue link going from 0 to 0 0.2 and now we will have to name our linear motor let's name it as linear because this name will be looked upon in our controller and if these names match then only we can have controller controlling this mechanism so now this was all about how to build the linkages so you see they have been built now what we can do is we'll save the environment and in our code first of all as this is a linear motor so we will add motor as lr let's call it as linear motor and it's a pointer so star after which it will be similar to these four wheels so we'll call lr equal to now we'll initialize the pointer so it will be lr equal to robot and uh, get motor so in get motor here we specify that uh, our pointer is pointing to an object which has a name linear so now we are done with our motor now let's use our keyboard to control the motor so now let's use these conditions and tweak them control c control V and we'll also need to have an else condition so what we'll do is if we'll use the key W and S for this function our W key is 87 inside the keyboard you can check it by just printing it out and clicking the W key and our S key is 83 So here we have a variable named linear so linear if someone clicks w will increment the position by 0 0.05 this will be huge let's do 0 0.05 so it goes slowly similarly If someone decrements, uh, so if someone clicks on S, our value will decrease by 0 0.05. And last but not the least, if none of the button has been clicked, you have your linear value to be the same. So now we saved the environment. Let's
Oh yeah. I think we set the values, but we did not uh, set the position. So let's cancel it. Let's set the position. So it will be LR, which is a pointer. So set position to be equal to linear. So now we set the position equal to linear. Let's build it. Yeah, it built successfully. Now, and we click on play and when we move robot it moves with arrow keys and when we click W it comes up uh, you can see we can control up and down with W and S so now with functionality of motion we also have functionality of linear so if I want to make a fruit picking robot or some robot which needs linear actuation. This is how I'll make it. So this is all about today's video. It is cool to have such functionalities in your robot. So try it out. If you like the video, do share it and stay tuned for many more videos with camera, GPS and many other integrations. Thank you.